Thank you for watching this video from Kingsway Soft. Today, I will be introducing the premium derived column component from within the SSIS Productivity Pack. The SSIS Productivity Pack is a collection of premium SSIS components which enable greater developer productivity and increases the power of SSIS. The premium derived column component is an advanced transformation component utilizing expressions to manipulate data. It comes with an advanced expression editor, and at this time of the recording, it offers nearly 200 expressions and functions. Compared to the out-of-box derived column component, this component offers many additional features, including numerous new functions. Also included are the tools to perform expression validation and testing, advanced data type detection, performance enhancements, and more. The premium drive column is able to do a great number of things. For a demonstration today, we will show you some common usage scenarios for the premium drive column, such as the following. One, downloading a binary attachment from a 365 CRM server and save it to local files. Two, compressing CRM binary attachments to local files. 3. Uploading a local file to an application such as Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM. And 4. Using regular expression language. Please note that you will be finding many similarities between all examples. Our first example is how to download a binary attachment from a 365 CRM server and save it to a local file. First, let's quickly create a connection manager that connects to a Dynamics 365 CRM server and then configure a CRM source component that reads from the Activity MIME attachment entity, which is the entity behind CRM email attachments. Note that the attachment field is called body in the list. Now let's drag the premium derived column component and connect to the upstream data flow components. Double click to open its editor form. The main section is a list of functions to choose from. Currently, there are nearly 200 functions, all with varying capabilities. To the top left, you will find a list of columns and variables to add to your expression. In our case, the body field of the source component is a base64 encoded string. In order to download the binary content, the field needs to be first decoded, then saved to a local file. For the decoding part, we are going to use the decode base64 function under the encoding functions category. To save the binary content, we will be using the write binary content function, which takes the binary content as its first parameter and an additional parameter to be used as a destination file path. Let's get started with this expression. Once we've selected this expression, drag it to the columns page down below. Click the button to the right to open the expression editor to customize the expression. As mentioned before, we also need to add the decode base 64 function like so. Now that we have our expression, let's configure the parameters. The first part of the expression is to specify a file path. I will quickly add my file path. Please note that we do need to change all backslashes to a double backslash in order to validate the expression. Next, I'd like the CRM attachments file name to also be the file name of the download. To do this, I will drag the column file name to the expression to be placed after the file path string. Now we need to specify the content to be decoded using the decode base 64 function. Let's drag the body column to this parameter and close the expression. We can now validate this expression in the expression editor. Below, the columns page also shows you the data type. This is automatically detected based on the expression. Similar to the data type column, length, precision, scale, and code page are also automatically detected. These columns can be edited if needed, depending on the detected data type. Let's head to the error handling page where there are three error handling mechanisms to choose from. 
The default option is to fail an error, where the entire data flow will fail as soon as an error occurs. There is also the redirect rows to error output, where the error output will contain the failed records with an extra column for error code, error column, and error message. There is also a third option, which is to ignore any errors that may have occurred. We can now execute the task successfully. Now we're going to work on our second usage scenario, which is to compress files from local file systems. In this example, we will be using two different functions. Instead of using one derived column component, we will be using two separate premium derived column components. The first one to compress the binary content and the second component to save the compressed binary content to a file in our local system. I've already connected a premium derived column component to an upstream data flow component. In this case, we are reading from a SharePoint document library as our source. Double click to open its editor form. In this example, we will be using expression from the compression function. The expression zip will allow us to specify both the content and file path for compression. Once we've selected this expression, drag it to the columns page down below. Click the button to the right to open the expression editor to customize this expression. The first part of the expression is to specify the content, in which case we will drag the appropriate column here. Now let's drag the column we'd like to use as the name of the compressed file. You can also choose to add a password as a third parameter. For today's demo, I've chosen to leave the password parameter as empty. We can now validate this expression in the expression editor. Now let's add a second premium derived column component that would save the compressed file. We'll work with an expression from the file input output function and drag the right binary content expression to the columns page. Let's open the expression editor. The first section is where we will specify the file path. Next, I will specify the file content by dragging the column to the expression to be placed after the file path string. Note that this is the column that we have added in our first premium derived column component. Let's validate this expression in the expression editor. We can now execute the task successfully. As we have previously mentioned, we could have used one single derived column component to achieve this purpose. We will now demonstrate how to upload a local file to an application such as Microsoft Dynamics 365 CRM. I will quickly configure my premium flat file to be used as the source. This flat file will contain a list of file names to be used for the upload. Let's drag the premium derived column to the design surface and connect the two. Let's first establish the email subject as new email and the object type code as email. We now want to establish the file content of the email. In this case, we will select an expression from the file input output functions called read binary content. First, we need to specify the file path. I would also like the CRM attachments file names to be the file name from my source directory. To do this, I will drag the column to the expression to be placed after the file path string. Now let's validate this expression in the expression editor. Let's click OK to finish configuring the premium drive column. Next, I will specify a CRM destination component in order to upload the attachments to CRM. We can now execute the task successfully. Now we will demonstrate how to use the premium derived column for regular expression language, also known as regex. Our example today will replace all emails from the source to end 
in an email domain of at kingswaysoft.com. I will quickly configure my data spawner component to generate sample emails. Now let's connect a premium derived column to set up a regular expression function. We will drag the expression regex replace to the column section and open its expression editor. Let's specify the email column to be the source text. Now we can add a regex pattern in the regex section. Next, we'll specify the replacement text as at kingswaysoft.com. Lastly, we will specify whether or not to ignore case. By default, it is set to false. We can now validate this expression in the expression editor. We'll quickly add a dummy data reader destination component. We can now execute the task successfully. This concludes a demonstration of the premium derived column component from within our SSIS productivity pack. There are many other components in the productivity pack that enable developers to accomplish more in SSIS in a much more productive fashion. Thank you for watching this video. Please feel free to take a look at our other videos available for viewing on our website or YouTube channel. For further assistance, please feel free to contact us.